Hi, let's continue with the uh, discussion of the UI alert controller. So in the last video, I created an alert controller and I added some actions to it. So my alert controller now has a cancel and an OK action. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. And so what I have is this, right? I've got the message here, the title and the message, and then a cancel and an OK button. And so what I'd like to add is a text field, OK? So you can add um, text fields, and you can actually add more than one text field, too. You can have multiple text fields now with the UI Alert controller. And uh, to add a text field, you're going to call on the Alert controller and call its add text field with configuration handler method okay so you can just start typing you know you might be anywhere on here and if you start typing a d d you'll see it takes you down to add action add child add observer and add text field with configuration handler okay and so this is kind of an interesting function the way it's arranged essentially um it um, it takes one parameter that is a block, and then that block receives a parameter, right, that is the text field that you're going to configure for display inside the, the UI alert controller. Okay, so essentially, UI alert controller, you know, when we call this function, it creates a text field, and it adds that text field to itself and styles it you know, to match the, the rest of the alert controller. But then it gives us access to the text field through this function so we can configure that text field, you know, in some way that, that we need to configure it, okay? So I'm going to hit return here. And then for the configuration handler, notice there's parentheses on either side, right? And then, you know, the name, of this the name of this parameter is called configuration handler. And then in parentheses here, this is the block that we're going to execute. And it, you know, when it has parentheses here in the block, that's the parameter that the block is going to receive. And inside here is a variable that will, you know, hold the value that it's receiving. And then it returns nothing. Or it says, you know, it's got the return arrow and it says void. Okay. So I'm going to hit return now. And then... Xcode is going to do this thing where it, it kind of simplifies this a little bit, you know, which is okay with Swift. You know, Swift is okay if, if you just have one parameter and it's a block, you don't have to have the parentheses. So you see it remove the parentheses there, right? And it kind of rewrote this a little bit and it kind of added a line return there. Okay, and it said in. So when we use a, um, a function as a block, right, as a parameter, um, if that function receives any parameters, we put it here in parentheses, the value it returns goes here and, and the type, and then we say in, and then the block, you know, after the in, we have the block of code that this function is going to execute. <clears throat> okay, so right here I want to put the name of the text field, you know, or the variable that's going to hold that text field. So I'll say text field, I'll just give it the name text field, right? We, we could call it city text field or something, too, if we want to be more specific. But I'll just put that name here. As long as we have a valid variable name here, then that's okay. And this variable is just going to be used inside this block anyway, right? So I'll just use text field. And then down here, maybe for the text field, if we want to configure this in some way, um, I'll put the name here. And, you know, text fields have a placeholder property, and that's the kind of gray placeholder text that appears in the field before you begin typing. So why don't we set that to um, a string here and say city name, okay? And so I'll save that. And that's pretty much all we need to do, right? So we have city name and, you know, alert add text field with configuration handler. And then I'll save it and I'll click the, uh, the build and run button. And there's my app in the simulator, and I'll, I'll tap on the city button, and you can see there's my dialog box, and it's got city name placeholder text, and there's the text field that was added, 
okay? So you can see it says city name, and there, there it is. And if I start typing in here, then, um, you know, it, it removes the placeholder text. And you can hit return to close it. Um, and essentially hitting return is like tapping on the OK button. And you can also tap on the OK button. So here's just one other little note so we can kind of start to understand how these blocks work. Okay, they're really big and swift. Okay, so, um, you know, essentially this parameter takes one, or this function takes one parameter. So really all of this goes inside the parentheses here. It's just as if we, we called on, you know, add text field with configuration handler and the parentheses here, and then our block of code goes inside here like this, right? So um, let me let me actually put a comment there, right? And, you know, you could write this all on one line. So, you know, it could be written like this. There's a couple options on how this can be written, but essentially this you know, curly brackets here is a block of code that's going to be executed when, you know, when we run this configuration handler method. And it's going to receive this parameter here. It's going to return nothing, return void. And then in says like, okay, this is the code that the function is going to run. Okay.